Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul. I just, they blow me away. Every time I go in there, it's something new, something different, something cool. And yes, gnomes. Gnomes. Why? Why do I keep doing this to myself? It's her. It's the girl gnomes that get me every time. The Valentine one, she had a um, sequined hat. Now the St. Patrick's Day. Yes, I know they've been out for a while now and I seriously hesitated getting it. And then there she was. It's like, I had to. Look at her. It is just gorgeous. This, this sequin color is beautiful. I would love to have a dress. Like a black, the, the fabric black and then this beautiful green sequin. Isn't that pretty? But I just thought she was so cute with her, her orange braids. So cute. And then, of course, like for Valentine's Day, I had to get her husband as well. And he doesn't have a sequin hat. He has little little shamrocks on his white beard. They're just cute. And if one of the kids or grandkids want them, they can take them. But they're adorable. But why? I keep saying I'm not going to pick these up. I don't decorate very much for Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day. So these will probably just sit on my mantle until somebody else in the family claims them. But they're cute. And one of you had asked and when I showed the Valentine's ones if I ever found the little ones. I did, but I did not pick them up. And then another thing I want to tell you, I have been using this lotion that I showed. I like it. I really, really like it. I'm going to leave this one back here or put it next to my chair in the living room. And then I have the other one, the, the um, lemon verbena. It's upstairs in the upstairs bathroom. This is nice, guys. If you see it, this Yardley of London lotion, pick this up. It's very nice. And this is lotion. This is hand lotion and not um, hand wash. I like it a whole lot. And I like the scent. And it, I just put it on before I made this video. And it dries down. It does take it a little while to dry down, but it dries down very nice. It's not sticky at all, but it feels very moisturizing. So I like it. So I showed you that. And then I've been showing getting funky socks for the bigger kids. We picked these up for the littlest grand lady. And I need to, to ask our daughter what our, what our second youngest grand lady, what size shoes she is in. I do not think these will fit her but you never know. But these are two packs and these are Sesame Street kids low cut socks and you get two pairs in here, sizes, shoe size seven to two. And this one has all the Sesame Street characters on, Oscar the Grouch and Cookie Monster, Big Bird, Elmo. Super cute. I see, I see Ernie's face here. And then this one, it looks like it's all Elmo on the back, just bright colors. A two pack for a dollar twenty five, and then this one is also Sesame Street, and this one looks kind of like um, there's a guitar on there, kind of a musical thing. It has music notes. Who are the characters on here? I see Ernie, I see Cookie Monster, Oscar the Grouch, and then the back is Elmo. Looks like he is dancing to the music. So we picked up those just for her to, to scuff around in. You know, if they get dirty, stained up, not dirty, but stained up, you know, just throw them away. But yeah, I think it's a great deal. Two pair of socks for $1.25. Which way do I go here? Let's get the, fruit, the um, food stuff out of the way. We picked these up, I don't know, probably three weeks ago or so. I know I showed a couple packs. And I had said that we had tried, I don't know if it was this brand, but it was probably a year ago and we didn't like it. We actually had one of these the other night for supper and these are very, very good. This is the Barilla brand and they're the ready pastas. They're already fully cooked for you and you can just microwave them for a few minutes or you can do it in hot water if you wish, but we just put it in the microwave. So we picked up more. This is the Rotini and it says 60 seconds on there. The Gemelli. the penne and the elbows. These are good. And if, you know, if the kids want them, the kids can have them too. 
But while we saw them in the store, we grabbed you know one more of each of them. Quick, easy, add some Velveeta cheese to it, make a quick mac and cheese, add some red sauce, you know, have a quick little pasta meal, side salad, and it was really good. I was very, very, very surprised, very impressed. Hubby picked these up because I do not like green olives at all. These are Spanish olives. Don't like them. He does. This is Bell's brand, the original since, I think it says 1930. I'm not sure. It's really small. These are the pitted Spanish olives, and you get four ounces of olives in here. That's the dry weight. Hubby loves olives. So picked up that, and then he picked up the sliced, sliced salad, Spanish olives with pimento. I'll show you in the back. Nice combination of both in there. They're sliced up for you. So he picked up one of each of those. He loves olives. Me, mm, mm And I don't like either. I don't like the um, like green Spanish olives. I don't like black olives either. And the best buys on these, because people do ask, what is the best buy? September of 25 on both. Nice long shelf life. So he grabbed those. And he grabs those and I grab these. <laughs> yep, it's Easter coming up and I'll be grabbing them until they're not on the shelf anymore. But these are delicious. I love Peeps. I know I say it every time I show them. Either you love them or you hate them. I love them. And it doesn't matter to me what color they are. But I do not like the flavored ones. The ones with the funky, like, you know, birthday cake and sour apple. I don't like those. But I do like just the plain, regular, traditional Peeps. And you get five in here. Peeps, marshmallow, 1.5 ounce. And these are just the classic. Best Buy is June of 24. They're delicious. Let's pick up those. And then we saw these and thought the kids might get a kick out of these. I know I showed another bag of these with another flavor. In a recent haul, I cannot remember what the flavor of them was, though. Maybe s'mores? Am I right on that? But these are cookies and cream. And it says marshmallows filled with cream filled cookies. Interesting. And it's an 8.6 ounce. I thought these would be nice, like even to put in hot chocolate. And on the back, it has a recipe for delicious cookie crispy treats. And it sounds like you can do it to make like rice crispy treats using these. That's interesting. Maybe we'll try that when the kids are here. And the best before date is June of 23. But I think these would be good just to snack on all by themselves. I like marshmallows. If you guys don't know that, I, I like marshmallows. <laughs> so if you guys have tried that, let me know what you think. You know what? Let's open it. I haven't, I haven't done a, a taste test in a while. I'm going to grab my scissors here because I don't want to rip this too much. I want to be able to seal it. I have my scissors here, guys. So I apologize. This was unplanned. There's definitely something hard in the center of it. They're a nice big marshmallow. It smells like just regular marshmallow on the outside. I'm going to get my hands all sticky here. There's something hard. It feels like a real cookie on the inside. Hmm. The marshmallow part is really good. Mm. That's good. Apologize. I'm not going to eat the other half right now. And I didn't bring a wet wipe in or anything because... This is completely, I didn't plan on doing that. That's good. I could eat those all by myself. Yum. Sorry, now I need a drink. Don't mind my lipstick on the straw. Those are really good. Really good. And then in the house cleaning section, sorry guys, that I did not plan on that. They had these tidy bowls. And I thought we would give them a try. These are made in the USA, stamped on the back. They had these two different ones. They have the one that turns your water blue and then they have one that is not colored at all. This says crystal clear. 
lasts up to 300 flushes. Tidy Bowl Man, and it's in quotes, always there for you. 12 ounce, and the thing, I, I read the back in the store because I wanted to see if these are safe for the plumbing in the back of your toilets. A lot of things that you put, the tabs and things that you put in the back of your toilet to keep it clean or turn the water blue, a lot of those are not safe for the component in the back of your toilet. It will rot, rot them out. But this says on the back that it is safe for plumbing and septic systems. So I'm assuming that these are safe for in the back. So I'm gonna give it a try. We have two main toilets. We have another one down in the basement that hubby uses more so than anybody else. It's like when he gets super, super dirty, yard work, that type of thing, he uses that shower down there. You know, that, that toilet area, that little bathroom. So these two will go in the two main bathrooms, the one on this floor and then the one on the second floor. But yeah, if you guys have tried these, let me know what your thoughts are on them. I haven't used this type of product in a very, very long time. I like using the um, the clip-in things that they have out every once in a while. I think they're made by Lysol. I like those. And um, I've never seen them at the Dollar Tree, but I used to get them at Walmart. It's almost like a gel that you kind of stick on. It's like it has this kind of big syringe and you put the gel on the inside of the toilet bowl. Those work really well too, but I haven't bought them for a very long time. And then in the um, beauty section, they had the Aquanet back. I haven't seen it in my stores for a very long time. <clears throat> They're just little cans, but this little can will last me forever. I do not use a lot of product in my hair, but Aquanet is my favorite. I am grew up in the 80s. It's my favorite. It works the best. It doesn't make my head itch. I don't know if any of you guys have that problem, but a lot of hairsprays, I don't know if they dry me out or what, but they're just, they make my head itch. This does not. I love it. And this is just the extra, extra super hold, unscented, and it's a four ounce. And it says all day, all weather, all over hold. Love it. And we were checking out and their bags at this store were total crap and it dropped the whole bag on the floor and broke the lid. And then we, um, this wasn't at the same store, I don't think. Yes, it was, this was from the same store because we stopped at two stopped at two stores that day and stuff got kind of missed, missed together, but these were at the same store. And these were, I believe in Chambersburg, Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. They had this, I have not seen anybody haul these. It's Ladies' Choice, I know that brand. And a lot of you have been telling me to use mousse in my hair instead of the, um, like that monkey gunk or monkey snot, whatever that was called, use mousse instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. Whenever I wash my hair next, I'm gonna go ahead and try it and see how this works. I used to use mousse all the time in the 80s and then got away from it. But this is Ladies' Choice Professional Mousse Firm Control All Day Shape and Hold for Every Occasion, and it's a five ounce has the traditional mousse foamer top thing on it. So if you guys have tried this, let me know. And it says no CFCs on the back. And then they also had the hairspray. And this is professional, firm control, all day shape and hold for every occasion. And it's a six ounce spray top. So I'm gonna give that a try and see if it makes my head itch. And this also says no CFCs. So I'm gonna try each one of these. I haven't seen anybody else haul these. So if you guys have tried them, let me know your thoughts. I, it's Ladies' Choice, I remember this brand. So yeah, guys, I think that is it for this haul. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff put away and I think I might have another marshmallow. These are good, these were very good. They'd be excellent in a, um, in a cup of hot chocolate. Yum. All right, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get this stuff put away. I should just go make myself something for lunch because I am hungry. I hope you're all doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.